how to add categories and subcategories to your Shopify store. That's exactly what I will show you in this video, so stay tuned. Alright, so if you want to make it easier for your customers to find certain products by having categories and even subcategories that then have certain types of products in them, then this is the video for you. So let me just get started straight away. Okay, so first thing you'll have to do from your Shopify homepage is you'll have to click on products right here. And then as you can see, I do have uh, like five products in here. They're all test products, of course. But um, yeah, so make sure you've added the products that you want to have in the categories first. And then uh, you want to head over to collections right here. And then you want to create a new collection. So let me click on this button in order to create a collection. And so then you'll have to give it a title. So for this example, I'm just going to give it a title shirts like so. And so then you can also give it a description in here. And so then there's two types of collections that you can add. First, there's uh, the manual collections. If the type is manual, you'll have to add the products manually to the collection. And uh, then there's also automated, which uh, you can set some conditions right here in order to automatically add the products to that collection based on something like the product tag, product title, product type, product category, product a vendor or the price or the compare ad price, the weight, the inventory stock or a variance title. But for this example, in order to keep it easy, I'm going to uh, use the manual type. Okay, so now let me just save this collection. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to have to add products to this collection by clicking here. And now I can, well, search for the products if I have a lot of them. Or for me, I only have five, so I'm just going to click on browse and add them manually like so and then click on add and now I've added the products to the collection. And I'm gonna create a second collection and I'll be right back. Okay so now I've also added the collection pants and so once you're done adding all of your collections that you want to add as categories uh, you want to head over to your online store right here and then you want to click on navigation and once you're on this page you want to uh, well, you can add a new menu if you want to start over or you can just edit the main menu. I'm just going to edit the main menu. So I'm going to click on that. And then right here, you can see the current menu items that are on your store currently. And so in order to add a new category, I'm just going to click on add menu item. And then I'm going to have to give it a name. This will display on your store. I'm just going to call it shirts. And then on the link page, I'm going to have to click on collections and then I'm going to click on shirts right here and add that collection and add that menu item. So as you can see, now we have this menu item and now I'm going to save it and now I'm going to head over to the store in order to show you. So now we have this category and now we can click on it and it'll send us to this page with all the products that we've added to this um, collection. All right, so now let me also show you how you can uh, add subcategories. So let me add another category real quick. All right, so now I've added the two collections uh, as categories here or as menu items rather. And so now I want to have it as a subcategory under catalog. So in order to do that, I'm just going to have to drag it from here up and then to the right. And now it's as a subcategory of catalog. And so now I'm going to do the same thing to pants right here. And now we can save it. And we can do that again and add another subcategory here. Uh, but let me show you on the online store. That's how it'll look. We will have a drop down menu like this. And now we can choose between shirts and pants.